Good afternoon and thank you for joining us on Y254. What we just saw there is a briefing, is a press briefing from Afia House by the Health Chief Administrative Secretary, Dr. Masi Mwangagi. She has already talked about us. Uh, added measures that are going to be taken to make sure that we all continue uh, fighting against COVID-19. Okay, so in the last 24 hours, uh, she has said that they have tested 305 uh, people with seven new cases testing positive, which now brings the total number of cases in the country at 179. So to break uh, that down, we have amongst all the seven Kenyans, all of them are Kenyans, but with a history of traveling with one who has recently been in Congo, one in the UK, and two in the United States of America. Uh, these cases are distributed in three different counties in the country, where we have five uh, cases in Nairobi, we have one case in Mombasa, and we have one case in was in Gishu. Also, we have four of the cases are female, and three are male. Uh, the measures that the uh, the health chief administrative secretary has talked about uh, making emphasis on measures that have been given there before, which is making sure that we are washing our hands, uh, sanitizing or continue uh, practicing social distancing. She has also talked about making sure that also these measures are applied in our prisons. Uh, they have said that they are also going to be setting quarantine measures for health workers to make sure that they are safe and also providing accommodation for the health workers to just in case someone has maybe gets to contract the virus uh, during work. They don't get to go home and take these virus to their families. She has also thanked the media and volunteers and all people involved uh, in spreading the messages of hope as far as COVID-19 is concerned. Uh, she has talked about people with unused oxygen cylinders uh, to provide them for patients who may require oxygen during this difficult time. She has talked about private health facilities and uh, there, she has talked about private health facilities sharing their results with the Ministry of Health. Okay, so in the measures given today, these are the new measures, and this is directed to our salons and barbershops, that all salon operators uh, should wear face masks. You should make sure that if you're operating a salon or a barber, you make sure that your salon has hand sanitizers, make sure that you're practicing social distancing. And they have said that they're going to be coming up with more measures to make sure that uh, in such spaces as the salon and the barber's people are also protected as they continue with their work. Uh, she has uh, broke down the number of cases in the country based on uh, age group, uh, the ages which have been affected. We have three cases below the age of 15 years. We have 49 cases between the age of 15 to 29. We have 114 cases between the age of 30 to 59. We have 13 cases uh, the age of 60. She has said that as you can see on the, uh, as you can see in these numbers, the concentration, where the concentration lies mostly is between 15 to 59, where we have 114 and 49 cases. They are saying that they are going to be uh, having more additional measures to make sure that everything that is needed to be done to make sure that we can at least control, uh, that is the spread of uh, the virus, is going to be done by the government. And also there is some good news with one patient who was under critical care, who has been taken off with uh, ventilation support and moved to general ward. Uh, there are two additional cases that have been discharged in the last 24 hours after recovery. The, the, she has also said that 2,005 persons have been monitored uh, under contact tracing uh, and they are going to be developing guidelines for home-based health care. So the, the, she has also said that they will be giving more information on the state of different equipments, i.e. the ICU beds and the ventilators on their next briefing. This is based on uh, one of the... The has talked about, about people who have oxygen uh, cylinders that are not being used. People are now wondering, like, what is going to be done? If, if you're getting to the point where we're asking people to give these, um, uh, to provide these uh, products to, or to provide these, some of the equipments that are going to be needed, but she has said that they're going to be giving a breakdown of all that 
when uh, as they give the briefing which is probably expected to be done tomorrow. Uh, she's also saying that people should really adhere to every measure that has been uh, be given by the government. Uh, that is in terms of traveling, in terms of practicing social distancing, in making sure that we also share in information that is very right and true uh, on our social media uh, platforms. And also we've had, we've had the um, We've had the, the acting director of uh, acting director, the Ministry of Health, uh, come there and uh, just answer some questions that were being asked by uh, journalists, and just creating emphasis on making sure that every person is up to date and up to speed on everything regarding COVID-19. Okay, so I am getting more information that all the people that have been uh, that have been tested today and tested positive for the COVID-19 have already been moved to quarantine and there are other, other people that are in isolation and people that are also in quarantine are still they're still continuing to take more tests and they hope that they are going to manage to do more tests in the coming days. That is the updates and that is what the Health Chief Administrative Secretary, that is Dr. Masi Mwangangi, has just finished briefing the people at Afia House. Or we can tell you today from Y254 is let us continue washing our hands at least 20 seconds with running water. Let us use the sanitizers and remember you only get to use a sanitizer if you're in a place where you cannot access water. Let us continue practicing social distance. If you have no business in town or in the marketplace, please make sure that you stay at home because staying at home does not only protect you, but it also protects your loved ones. And for us to fight and come out of these victorious, then we all need to make sure that we are following every directive that has been given. That is all we have for you. Have yourselves a very good evening. Coronavirus COVID-19 is a respiratory virus spreading across the world. The infection is spread from droplets of coughing and sneezing of an infected person, touching or shaking hands or being in contact with contaminated surfaces or objects with the virus. The signs and symptoms are fever, coughing, headache, body ache, difficulty in breathing. The disease can be prevented by regularly washing hands with soap and running water. Avoid close contact with people who have flu-like symptoms. Avoid handshake, hugs and kissing. Also, protect yourself by covering your mouth or nose using a disposable tissue while coughing or sneezing. If you experience these symptoms and you had traveled or been in contact with a person from a country reporting COVID-19, you should isolate yourself for 14 days and seek immediate medical attention or report to the nearest health center. This message has been brought to you by the government of Kenya and its partners. For accurate information on COVID-19, dial star 719 hash or call 719. Follow us on Twitter at MOH underscore Kenya at spokesperson GOK at WHO.